I bought myself a CD-ROM program to learn Italian in preparation for my first visit in May of 1995. I've since gone pretty much every year in May. Uh, so the, the, the program had um, 50 lessons, cinquante lezioni, uh, each lasting about 90 minutes, and I managed to get through 12 of them before I got on the plane. When I got off the plane uh, in Milano, I immediately started practicing. I asked in my faulty Italian, where is the bookstore? So I went to the bookstore and I asked, how do I get a map of the city and where do I catch a bus and so on. Eventually, I got to my hotel. The elevator was about, you know, this big. And then I got to my room and it brought up the old joke, you know, uh, my hotel room was so small. How small was it? I had to go out in the lobby to change my mind. So uh, then I decided, okay, stop whining. I'll just have a shower and get changed and go for a walk because it was, you know, sort of mid-afternoon. So I went in the bathroom and I saw the bidet and I saw the, the, the toilet and I saw the sink and I couldn't find the shower. Was there another? Did I go down the hall for the shower? Anyway, I can be thick sometimes until I figured out finally this was the bathroom was the shower. The floor sloped to a center drain and there was the shower. Anyway, so... I went for a walk, and immediately I fell in love with the whole darn country, the whole crazy country, and, and as I say, I've been going ever since. Uh, I discovered on that first walk, there was La Scala, the famous opera house, and I wasn't even an opera fan, but I thought, well, there you are, you know, you have to do something. So I went and asked in my terrible Italian, and uh, the guy said, no, it's all sold out, but you come back tomorrow, the curtain is at eight, you come back at six, and uh, I will have a, a cancellation for you. So I understood that. I said, great. And I came back the next day at six. And by the way, the opera was Faust, which is the last thing on earth I wanted to see, especially for my first opera. Uh, and uh, so he had a, a seat for me. And it was right down front in the center. It was fabulous. And almost in passing, I said, oh, by the way, how much? And he said uh, it was something like 280,000 lira, which I quickly translated to roughly 225 Canadian dollars. And... Here on my second day in Italy, I spit it out. I spat out, Signore, non per me familia, soltante per me. Uh, it's not for my whole family, it's just for me. And both of us fell down laughing. So you can have a lot of, a lot of fun and also get into a lot of trouble when you practice a new language. Pickle. When you go to a new place, don't behave like it's an alien planet. Throw yourself in heartily with your appetite and with your eyes and with your ears. And most importantly, with that wonderful part of your body, <laughs> your tongue.